and welcome to Let's Talk Netflix. My name is Lena and today I'm talking about Annihilation, a 2018 sci-fi movie written and directed by Alex Garland, the same guy who brought us the amazing Ex Machina. I love that one. <laughs> it's starring Natalie Portman, Jennifer Jason Lee, and Oscar Isaac, who also had the role in uh, Ex Machina. He was the rich guy. This is a spoiler review, so if you haven't seen the movie yet and you're planning on watching it, don't watch this video because I will spoiler and talk about the movie a lot. So yes, let's get started. I like the idea of the movie. I think it's a clever one like Ex Machina. The idea, I think, was kind of like the idea of God rebooting Earth because we are destroying Earth and we have a problem with everything that is different and we are afraid of new things. So maybe he thought about going back to Earth, mixing everything together because in that shimmer everything is everything, kind of. And yeah, everything is mushed together. So uh, there would be no war, I guess. Everything will be happy. I mean, the animals are eating other animals, of course but not in a, in a bad way, I guess. If all the humans are like plants, <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah, I guess that's kind of the idea behind it or the universe when you are angry or you give bad energy, you get bad energy back. Kind of the scene at the end, my idea. So, but what I didn't like about the movie was definitely the script writing. I know it's from a book series, I guess there are three books and I haven't read them so I don't know how similar the movie is to the books. The script has a lot of flaws, beginning with the main character. I, again, I didn't like the main character, like in Mute, it was such a... Natalie Portman. I mean, I don't, I don't really like her a lot, even though she's here uh, behind me on the wall when she was a kid in Leon de Profi. Oh, I love the wall. Oh my god, this was great. But uh, in Thor, oh my god, I didn't like her in Thor. She was annoying. And here, uh, really, she was. She wasn't. She wasn't likable at all. I mean, she cheated on her husband, okay, but she had nothing going for her. The character, the main character should have a goal <laughs> to succeed at the end or to achieve at the end, but I don't know what her goal was. Really not. I don't know. Maybe she had a few little goals like going in finding out what happened to her husband but yeah for a biologist i would think she wanted to find out about what's going on and why everything is like it is over there but she didn't seem to be really really up for anything new <laughs> and the other four Women also, I don't know if he hates women. Every woman in this movie was a bitch. What's his problem? Oh my God. Um, there were this passive, aggressive interaction between these women. It's like, so that's what you think women are about. They cannot get along <laughs> for five days. Thank you. The character design was my first problem with the movie and then the choices they make. I mean, come on. Which government would send five women with machine guns to, to go into the shimmer thing? And yeah, they didn't want to send more military. They should have sent military and uh, biologists or... Um, yeah, some professors, I don't know, inside this thing, like in every other movie, a muscle and a brain. Why only brains and no muscle? Didn't make sense to me. But again, I don't know uh, if it's in the book the same way, I don't know. Jennifer Jason Lee's character, she was so freaking weird. 
she didn't react to the craziest shit when this huge bear took one of the women she just sat there and looked dumb well i don't know she doesn't give a fuck about anything or what does it mean that was so strange and then the other thing they watched this tape where he cuts this guy's um belly open and they were shocked and they kind of vomited i guess and then they go into this pool where are corpses on the fucking wall and a skull and legs coming out of the wall and they didn't seem to care at all no uh crazy reactions there i mean there are real corpses not just a, a tape real dead bodies but they seem to be just fine with it i don't know why and then my favorite scene when they were in the woods and uh, natalie portman's character wanted to look for the other girl if she's still alive the one the bear took and then she finds her okay and i know she's she wants to go and the other ones i'm going with you and she says no i'm going alone why would she go alone into the woods why i mean ah there was no way this woman would have gone alone into the woods to look for this huge fucking bear who ripped her not really friend but someone apart and they don't know what's out there but she wants to go alone of course but <laughs> when you think about it now why did she go alone just so the other woman can say she wasn't really dead she was alive uh, later in the movie so that was the only reason she went alone okay thank you but then she finds the woman says she's dead <laughs> and wouldn't it be realistic or human to bury her have a little funeral or something she just lets her lie there and then she goes back and the other ones didn't mention anything about the uh, shouldn't we bury her something no they're just oh she's dead okay let's move on fuck it i was so out of the movie after the third time i said no one would be like that and that's not <laughs> that's not realistic at all who would have done it it's only because the plot points that's the only reason and then the chair scene oh my god the one girl gets crazy because she finds out i don't know if she's going through natalie portman stuff i think i slept on it um but she finds out that natalie portman is the wife of the guy in the video so she gets all crazy but she was crazy before i guess and then she straps all three of the remaining women to the chairs a gag in their mouth because she wanted <laughs> she wants answers oh, what the fuck? why would she put a gag in the mouth when she wants answers from them and yeah the only reason they are strapped to these chairs with a gag in their mouth is because the freaking bear comes and if they scream they are dead so they can scream and why don't they scream if the bear comes that was the only reason they got strapped to this chair and couldn't talk because the fucking bear but it didn't make any sense i was out after this scene the scene got worse i mean okay the um she yeah there then she ran outside because she hears the scream and the bear got her the bear comes in she comes back and the really there were these chairs and the bear was on the other side of the chair she was holding a machine gun under her arm like that shooting <laughs> everyone in the back <laughs> trying to hit the bear I mean everyone must have been dead uh, how could she aim she's not a freaking sniper everybody would have been dead then then the little girl 
um, the, the girl with the glasses grabs a machine gun shooting directly at Natalie Portman's character at the floor. I mean, she would have been dead again. Everybody got shot in this scene for sure. So after that, I was just, I was completely out of it. I said, oh, come on, this is so ridiculous. I don't believe any of this. But okay, then the end is near. <laughs> Let's say she finds out that her husband is not her husband and then she meets this presence. I call it presence. I don't call it an alien because... And then she realizes, oh, it's just mimicking what I do. So it is not really evil or trying to hurt me. It's just doing what I do. I'm a biologist. Let's nuke it. <laughs> what? And then she burns the whole shimmer because everything is everything. She sets one thing on fire and everything goes up in flames. Good job, biologist. You don't seem to care to learn anything new. You don't want to find out anything. You just want to destroy everything. Well done. So I guess they are Adam and Eve in a way and the Garden Eden is destroyed again. And yeah, Natalie Portman fucked it up for everyone because Earth would have been a better place if the Shimmer took over everything. I really would have wished for it to be a little bit more realistic in the character uh, character part because the characters were not likable, they were bitchy and the reactions to everything were really unrealistic and stupid. They did things just to go on with the plotline and it was really disappointing. And I guess the idea of the movie is the thing people will talk about. I think I said enough. I'm sorry if I <coughs> bitched a little bit too much about it because it isn't really a bad movie. It had really nice moments and it looked good. Um, sometimes it was creepy, but yeah, it threw me out so many times that I couldn't enjoy it. So uh, out of five stars, I will give it two because I think the idea was really good and it looked pretty nice, but the character design, the storyline and yeah, didn't really add up for me so two out of five stars have you seen annihilation what do you think about it or what's your theory about the idea of the movie the theme tell me in the comments and that's it for today bye bye